now that I have made these changes to this session, it still doesn't really have a very descriptive name. So I am going to explore the different possibilities that I have with saving this particular session. Several reasons why I might want to do this. Maybe I just want to change the name of the session. Maybe I want to change the name of it and maybe consolidate it and make sure that all those files that were missing in the previous video didn't get lost somewhere. So I can do all of these things at once or I can just focus on uh, parts of them. So these are things that you're going to need to know for the test. So we'll do this while we're here. What I'm going to do is go to the file menu and I have a bunch of choices here. I can save it. That will just save changes that I've made. It doesn't change the name of the file. It doesn't change the location. It doesn't change the file type or the sample rate or anything like that either. It just simply saves it. You should know the key command for this. Command S on a Mac, Control S on a PC. I can also do a save as. I'll do a save as here. So I can also hit Control Command S on a Mac or Control Windows S on a PC. So I'm just gonna do that. And it's going to just ask me to change the name of it. So that's all that it really allows me to do. By default, it's just gonna put it in the same session folder. But another thing that it does is it opens the renamed session and that's what I will continue my work on from here on out. So I'll do band, I'll do the name of the song, I'll do the function, in this case I'm mixing, and I'll put my initials on there too, just so I know that I worked on this. Version number, so maybe this is version one and then I will put the date. So there's a lot of information there, but it is very descriptive and you're able to find what you've done on this in the past. But it's gonna save it in that same poorly labeled uh, file folders before, and it's also gonna leave things in the mess that they were in before. So now this is fixed a little bit, but my file structure is a little weird and all those missing files, they might be missing when I open it up again. I don't know. Maybe I'll throw away the folder where the other ones that I linked to were in. So what I'm going to do instead now is I'm going to consolidate these by doing something called a save copy in. So if I do a save copy in, what it does is it brings up this window. And it allows me options. So I can change the file type if I want. I can change the sample rate if I want. Um, I can change the bit depth if I want. I can change other things about it. In this case, I'm just gonna leave it the same. I have no desire to do anything else. But what I do wanna do, because I do wanna make a genuine copy, I don't wanna just copy the session. I wanna copy everything uh, that's associated with the session. And I wanna consolidate it all onto maybe a new drive. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to check the audio files in items to copy. You can limit what you're copying as well by only copying the main playlist, only selected tracks, but I wouldn't really bother with that. One thing that I think is really, really strange is something called preserve folder hierarchy. Definitely do not do that. It would create a folder for every folder that was involved in the file path, which is very strange just don't do it. It's not a test question. Just avoid it. The other thing that you would want to do is put in any sort of movie files that are associated with the session if you're doing post-production work. Other things you can do which are interesting are the, the session plugin settings folder and the root plugin settings folder, which relate to uh, saving the presets that you used from your session. You can do that if you want. I don't find that it's that much of a help. So I'm just not gonna do it. So then it's gonna ask me where I want it. So the other thing about this is it's going to create this copy and it's gonna call it the name of the new session, not the parent folder that it was in before. So what I would do in this particular case is I'm gonna move it out of this folder and I want this particular thing to stand on its own. So I'm gonna maybe put this on one of my local drives here. Okay, there we go. And so now, when I hit save, I know that I did this right because it takes a second. It's copying every file that was associated with the old session 
regardless of where its root audio files folder was. This is good just file hygiene and it keeps from files becoming missing. So this is a pretty big session, so it's gonna take a second. Sometimes it's quick, but you wanna see that processing window happen. Change the name of it, but one thing that I want you to notice is the session that I'm actually working in, I can, I can click on this and I can see the file structure and it's still in that wrong folder. So one thing about the save copy in is it does not op open the copy for you. So you have to go back and find the copy. And I'm gonna do that now. So I'm gonna close this. When you're closing sessions, what I want you to do is to remember to use the close session command, which is either command shift W on a Mac or control shift W on a PC. Don't hit these little buttons in the corner. So I am going to hit command shift W. And then I'm gonna go over to this Mercury drive, which is the fastest drive on my computer. And there my copy is, and it has my audio files folder and the new session. So then I'll open up that one instead. And everything is then located in that new folder. And it makes life a lot easier in the future.